What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. Now with this video, we are jumping into Wonder Woman Evolution, issue number one. Now this will be a brand new series by Stephanie Phillips, who is currently writing for Harley Quinn. Not only that, we have artist Mike Hawthorne, who has worked on Daredevil and Deadpool, and this will be his first major DC project. And we're going to talk about his artwork as we get further along through this issue. Now this story doesn't necessarily seem to be revolving around the main continuity that is currently going on. But if you guys want to check out everything currently going on in the Infinite Frontier with Wonder Woman, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on that entire series all the way back to Dark Knight's Death Metal. And so with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so this comic is dropping us into Wonder Woman battling on some random planet against an alien species. Not really understanding what is going on, not understanding what brought her to this moment. The small amount of narration that we are getting is letting us know that humanity is on the brink of its evolution. With most species going through a natural selection process of advancement and adaptation. And while this may be a great feat, these evolutions have merely been for survival. And so the question is asked, what happens when a species evolves far beyond their own understanding? Saying that there is no other choice but to stand in judgment. And if they are found wanting, they will pluck humanity from the cosmos. But that's what will take us to present day, picking up in Washington DC at the Museum of Natural History. And we have the one and only, and we have the one and only Silver Swan. And she has come here today because she wants to lure in Wonder Woman. Knowing that Wonder Woman has a soft spot for children, she has come here, taken children and parents alike prisoner, and now she is just waiting for Diana Prince to arrive. And with her sitting here taunting the children, taunting the parents from the ceiling, we have glass shattering all over the place and the entrance of our Amazon. Now with Wonder Woman coming onto the scene, she is trying to let Silver Swan know that you really do need some help. You're obviously sick in the head. There's some things going on with you mentally. We need to get you checked in so you can get the proper care that you need. And of course, Silver Swan, she doesn't care anything about what Wonder Woman has to say. The only thing she cares about is killing Wonder Woman. That has been her entire goal. That is going to be continuing her goal until she finally completes it. And with Wonder Woman not really wanting to fight her, she is not going to stand down and let her just attack her. And so with that, we have the fight beginning. With Wonder Woman doing her best to evacuate as many citizens as she can, Silver Swan continuously attacks her, Wonder Woman throwing her off, trying to protect the civilians as much as she can. And the thing about this is Wonder Woman, she's really not trying to hurt her. She's really trying to get through to her, to reach the person underneath, to reach Vanessa. And she lets Wonder Woman know this Silver Swan, this persona was created because for a long time, Wonder Woman was there for her, was there for Vanessa. But after time, Wonder Woman stopped showing up. And because of this, Vanessa grew very cold not just towards Wonder Woman, but the entire world. Because she didn't have somebody there to help her with her mental health. Though she should, probably should have checked herself into a hospital, something of that nature. Obviously, Wonder Woman doesn't carry the burden of this woman's mental health. But Wonder Woman is using her as her own scapegoat to avoid the, the awful truth that she is a broken human being that she needs severe psychiatric care. Now, Silver Swan being done trying to hear anything Wonder Woman has to say, we see Silver Swan pick up a kid and take her up into the sky. As she goes flying off, Wonder Woman leaps into the air and goes chasing after them, grabbing her lasso and landing it directly on the neck of Silver Swan. This is where she makes Wonder Woman choose. 
You can sit here and capture me and bring me in. Or you can save this child. And dropping this young girl from her arms. Being able to get the lasso from around her neck. Wonder Woman has to choose which she's going to do. And of course we know our heroes. They will always go to save the innocent. Though it does look like Wonder Woman she second guesses herself just for a split second. But then she turns. She moves as fast as she possibly can and she saves this little girl's life. But with her saving this little girl, Silver Swan was able to escape. Now that's what picks us up in the Himalayas. And we have Wonder Woman and Superman. And Wonder Woman's having a conversation about everything that just transpired. Telling Superman the entire story, Superman's letting her know that she didn't make a mistake. Yes, Vanessa got away, but at the end of the day, you saved that child's life. And that is exactly what we are meant to be doing. But he does ask Wonder Woman, would you have ever considered letting her fall just to stop Vanessa. And Wonder Woman lets him know that there's no way she would have ever done it to stop her, but she would have done it to save her, to be able to truly reach her and get her the help she needs. And Superman reminds her that there's no way you could be out there helping her while also her putting other lives in danger. But that's something that Diana already knows. And so Superman wants to know what is this really about? What is truly bothering you right now? And Diana goes to talk about the Himalaya Mountains, about the first time that they ever came up here. Believing themselves to be alone up here, that is when a couple of human mountain climbers, they make their way over a ridgeline. But what they were really doing was risking their lives for a view that they almost all the time now take for granted because they can stand up here like it is absolutely nothing saying that they are lucky to be able to have these kind of experiences one that is inaccessible to so very many people now superman lets her know when when he first brought her up here it wasn't to gloat about their abilities it wasn't to lord with their powers over others or or this planet he brought her here as a reminder a reminder that humankind is capable of such amazing passion the mountains might not kill these superheroes, but people have spent their entire lives trying to conquer them. And they accept this challenge because it brings them immense amount of joy. And he tells us of George Mallory, an individual who tried climbing Mount Everest three different times. And before that, when asked why he kept trying with all of his failures, and his answer was very simple. The answer was because it is there. And he goes on to tell Diana that they are not perfect, but he comes here to remember, despite all of their many gifts, joy, passion, challenge, and even failure are all natural. And really we're getting just one of Superman's always amazing, great pep talk speeches, because that's Superman. He always knows exactly what to say. But with them being done with this conversation, Superman says that they will race each other and the last one to get to the mountain will be a rotten egg. And so we see our two heroes, they fly off towards Mount Everest. As they are hightailing their way across, Superman is stopped dead in his tracks and that is because there is a tsunami that is about to hit and make its landfall. And so with Superman having to make his exit, we have Wonder Woman left here by herself. And as she sits here and she just enjoys a little bit of everything, feeling the wind on her skin, being at this altitude, enjoying every moment of this. That is until her hands, they start bleeding with electricity. With her not really understanding what is going on, this starts taking over her entire body. Not really sure what is going on, she screams at the top of her lungs for Clark. But as fast as she can get those words out of her mouth, Wonder Woman vanishes. And Wonder Woman, she is brought across the universe by some kind of cosmic entity. With humankind now reaching the stars, the question is, are they worthy? And so it is time for their judgment. And their champion, if she is found wanting, then humanity will be plucked from the cosmos. And so with Wonder Woman jettisoning through time and space, that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. As far as the story, I find it 
very exciting. I think it's a, a great different aspect to go with Wonder Woman. Her being chosen as the champion for all of humankind, she is going to be tested both mentally and physically to the extreme. And if only if she passes, will humanity be left to its own devices. And so I think the story has lots of potential. When it comes to the artwork, I have to say that it is definitely wanting. It is definitely lacking. The way Wonder Woman is drawn, the way most of the characters are drawn in this, it just doesn't look good. It looks like very, very amateur work. And I only say this by, you know, by looking at everything else that is currently coming out of DC Comics, is coming out of Marvel Comics, like the artwork is, is super top notch. And Wonder Woman's face in this just looks, it looks very odd. If you go back and look at Wonder Woman and how she is drawn in a lot of these, it just looks very unnatural, I think is the best way to put it. But with that being said, I think the overall story, the overall premise of, of all of this moving forward, it's going to be eight issues. I think it has lots of potential. And with eight issues, we can see a lot of character growth within Diana. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell. Make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. And until the next breakdown.